Masters of Wild Rock. Evil Jinkers. The Master of Disguise. Chapter 39. As you recall, last week we left Ralph Rotten and his never-ending struggle to stamp out the forces of goodness and niceness wherever they might be found. His diabolical scheme was to sneak into the refreshment stand of a Little League ballpark and put gunpowder into the bubble gun. Aha! Time for Ralph Rotten to strike again! <laughs> Wait till I get to the good part. Tonight I shall visit the penthouse apartment of Jay Sincere Wonderful and his marvelous, beautiful wife, Martha Beautiful Wonderful. Yeah. These two girls have devoted their lives to the never-ending battle to rid the world of the forces of evil. <laughs> but little do they know they have done their last good deed. <laughs> but tonight they will be exterminated. How? <laughs> what? Ralph Rotten! Ah, <laughs> uh, you're starting above me now! <laughs> Isn't it glorious that I, the finest man in the world, should be married to you, the finest woman in the world? Oh, no, dear. You're much finer than I am. In fact, it's so fine that at times it frightens me. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. That compliment from one as fine as you makes me even more aware of my own fineness. Stand this suspense any longer. When are you going to tell me the great news? Right now. But I do believe this little announcement calls for a little celebration. Jason, bring it in. Shall I, sir? If you please. Gordon's, I would judge, Wednesday, 9.30 a.m. Amazing, sir. <laughs> Jason, due to the importance of the occasion, you may pour one for yourself. Thank you, sir. But I'm on duty. Well, faithful retainer. Do stay. I want you to hear the news also. I can barely wait. Within the hour, I will have rid the world of the arch villain of them all. You mean? Yes, Ralph Rotten. On duty or not. <laughs> At this very moment, my men are closing in on him in his mountain lair. But, sir, Ralph Rotten has been cornered many times before, but has always made his escape. <laughs> oh, heaven! He could come right here and wreak his vengeance on you. Oh, my dear lady, fear not. With Jason here, he would never get past the front door. That's true, my lady. I can smell evil from far off. I shall see who it is, sir. Good man. I still feel you're in great danger. This time, we have seen the last of Ralph Robin. What to buy some Girl Scout cookies? Do I ever send the child in? How'd you know? Uh, uh, hi. I I'm Girl Scout, and I'm selling cookies which contain corn syrup, sugar, chocolate, vegetable fat, silicone, flat to make boron, retin, naugahyde, artificial coloring, and 40% reclaimed felt. <laughs> She's just adorable. I only wish she were ours. Would you... Do, do, do you really think that, uh, maybe you'll buy a box? A box? <laughs> oh, child. I shall buy 500 boxes. 500 boxes! <laughs> Three-day 
Look out in Death Valley. Well, I shall get the money. It's in the vault. Why does he yell? Oh, you look so tired and hot. Why don't you have have a little milk? Oh, you're such a nice you're such a you're such a nice lady. Thank you. Mmm, that looks yummy. <laughs> You remind me of my man, my, my, my mother, man, my mother, my, the lady that took me in. Uh, my mommy, every time I finish all my milk, she gives me eggs here. I drank all my milk, would you kind of think about it, laying one on me, and got me, of course, child. Right now. I won't, nice lady. <laughs> oh, my, you're a regular little kissing bug. Yeah, I come from a very interesting family. Oh. Yes. Why are you crying? Well, you and that nice man, you've been so wonderful to me, I, I just can't stand it. Oh, I don't seem to have my hanky. Could you get me a tissue? Poor <laughs> child. <laughs> Knock it off. Where do you fit? <laughs> Which bush? Humble dog. Perfect. dollars, little one. You can send the cookies to our summer place. Oh, that's so nice of you, and you're just in time. Do you know that you're just in time to see the Girl Scout parade pass by? Are you sure? I wasn't advised of any Girl Scout parade today. Oh, golly, Gloriosky, shucks, holy moly. Didn't you know about that? Crime, and we knew about that long time ago. It was celebrated, but this is big time to skunk. Wait. And hurry or you're gonna miss it. Oh, come here, we must not. Yeah, lean right over there. Oh, oh. Cool. Come on, cool it, I got it. Yeah, lean right over there. Come on, I'm going behind the bush now. Watch me, I'm gonna get my bush right behind that. Just because we're kids, because we're kind of small, because we're closer to the ground, and you are bigger pound for pound, you got no right. You got no right to boss and shove us little kids around. Kid nuts. <laughs> what school do you come from? No, wait, no, wait. All together one time. Ready? Children's Village. 
What is it, an Indian reservation, a village? <laughs> I'm going to put him on a platter with an apple in his mouth, this kid right here. What's your name, sweetheart? Glenn. What is it? Glenn. Huh? Glenn. No, I mean, what's your name? Glenn. No, I don't think you understood. You, what, what, what's your name? Glenn. Then what? No, your name. What's your first name? Glenn. I see. You notice the hostility? Glenn, that's it. That's the last time you're hearing it, Fred. I said it nine times. Glenn. 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 Yeah. <laughs> what is it, dear? Greg, you, if you I'm have some... Oh, you weren't talking to me. I'm sorry. What did she say? Can we hear what she said? No? <laughs> Is it dirty? What did you say? <laughs> Is it a bad thing? <laughs> Adua, what did she say, dear? I don't know. She doesn't know. Would you like me to tell her what you said? <laughs> huh? Veronica. Veronica. <laughs> Veronica, she's talking. <laughs> I can't imagine what the secret is. I, I, I want to know something. I'm very, very curious. Now, uh, which one of you young fellows here, now, that's either Roy or Wayne or Glenn or Lindsay, which one of you young fellows would like to be in my nut club? No, the fellows. Yeah. Yeah, nut club. You see, in order to be in a nut club, you have to take the initiation. Well, no, you have to take the initiation. Roy? The offering has to let people eat you. What did you say, dear? The offering has to let people eat you. Well, no, we're not talking about nuts that you eat. We're talking about a nut club because I do crazy things. See, and a lot of people say, he's nutty. See, so we have a little club where you have a badge and you're a nut in the nut club. Would, Glenn, would you like to be in the club? Would you take the initiation? All right. You come up. Oops, excuse me, darling. You come up here, Glenn. C come up here. You stand up there. And, no, standing. You see, that's sitting. That's... Yeah, okay. All right, now, you take the initiation. Are you ready? Raise your right hand. That's it. Oh, no, no. This one is the right... Now, you have to... Are you listening to me, Glenn? Yeah, you have to listen very carefully. Try to cheer up, sweetheart. Okay. This is a depressed child. All right, now, Glenn, try, now just wipe the smile off your face, Glenn. That's it. Now, keep, keep, no, no, wipe the smile. No, just wipe the, No, Glenn, wipe the smile off your face. Good. All right, now look at me, Glenn. And, no, look at me. I'm up here. That's it. All right, now, repeat after me. I shall solemnly swear. Let me rephrase it for you. I hereby solemnly swear. I hereby solemnly swear. 